excitement! This is James from BoxOfIt.com, and today I'm going to uh, basically be playing through just a quick little survival map, but that's not the reason I'm recording gameplay footage. You'll find tons and tons of videos on YouTube telling you how to survive your first night in Minecraft. Speaking of which, the last server I was on, there we go, the last uh, local LAN game I hosted, I should say. Anyway, um, the purpose of this video is to explain multiplayer game networking, why it's important, and uh, how it has probably affected your ability to play Minecraft. Um, now, as I talk, I'm going to uh, use my uh, uh, video editing software uh, to come in and pop up some uh, diagrams and other helpful information that'll hopefully make what I'm saying a little more visual and uh, easy to understand. Um, but essentially, to begin with, in most cases, when you're trying to play a game online, um, not within the same local area network, and I'll, I'll define that a little better in a moment, when you're trying to play something online, the number one thing that's going to stand in your way is port forwarding. And uh, you have a couple options as to how to deal with port forwarding. Uh, nine times out of ten, whoever set up your router did not bother to change the default uh, username and password to access it. Uh, so if you can look up the uh, model number of the router on the uh, internet, along with a search term such as default uh, control panel access or default username and password. Sorry about the uh, engine noise, someone is uh, pressure washing. At any rate, if you look that up, you should be able to find your uh, default username and password to access your router. And depending on whether or not you're running a Linksys, a Netgear, Cisco, whatever have you, sometimes it'll just say port forwarding, sometimes it's hidden under a firewall option, other times it'll say something like NAT, and uh, you just kind of have to hunt for it. Um, but in any case, the reason port forwarding is important is because of the differences between a local area network and a internet network. And um, the defining difference between this is whether or not you guys share a physical internet connection. Um, let's say you're uh, sharing an apartment with three other people. All of you connect through the same wireless router. Even if you're cabled directly in, you're cabled into the back of that router or a switch or hub or something that plugs into the back of that router. At one point, it all connects and funnels down through one modem that connects you to the internet at whole. And that modem is what's responsible for generating your public IP address. Your public IP address is your internet provider address. It is uh, usually going to be something like 94.163, whatever have you. And it always depends on where you live, uh, who you use for internet, things of that nature. The difference um, between a uh, internet network and a local area network is that the internet is geared to protect you against hazards in regards to your networking equipment. Your router is designed to block incoming traffic because it doesn't know that what it sees on port 25526, uh, I think it is, whatever the default Minecraft port, is in fact Minecraft. It doesn't know to let that through and even if it did, it wouldn't know what computer on your network to send it to. Now, within your network, you have a different set of IP addresses. These are called your private IP addresses or network IP addresses. And uh, usually these are going to begin with 192.168.1 and then some numerical identifier. Um, that's not the case for all of them. Sometimes you'll have a uh, 10 dot whatever. Um, but the case in point is everyone on your network will have, um, unless you're uh, operating under a rather knowledgeable and meticulous uh, network administrator there, uh, everyone in your network will have the same route to their network IP address. 
and the router uses that internal uh, private IP address to look and say, oh, okay, you're in the same building, you're on the same network, I don't have to administer the same security protocols to you. So when your uh, roommate's computer asks to speak to yours by going to 192.168.1.4, and just to make things shorter, we're going to say .4, it's going to look at his computer and say, oh, well, you're dot nine. You're on the same network, and it's just going to patch you through. It's going to um, connect dot nine to dot four and basically not monitor the web traffic. But with the internet being a large and uh, rather unregulated place, it's for the best that you don't open yourself to so many vulnerabilities. If you want to, and you don't want to really uh, bother with individualized uh, port forwarding, most routers offer a demilitarized zone, DMZ setting. And what that means is that your router, nine times out of 10, will actually go ahead and push your external IP address over to your internal IP address. And what that does is take every bit of incoming web traffic, whether it's port 80, as if you're running a web server, um, 3036 for a MySQL database, or you know whatever have you for Minecraft, whatever you're doing, the web server is going to, I'm sorry, the uh, router is going to let that go directly to your computer. Now, if you're hosting a lot of games and you're not making a lot of enemies online, then by all means go for it. I've had my fair share of demilitarized zones. Uh, but the major thing to remember with this is, and I'm sorry, I'm not multitasking as well as I had hoped. Every time I get to the building phase, I start thinking, oh, I should do this, that, or the other. Um, all right. The thing with the demilitarized zone is that it's lower maintenance. It's actually kind of great if, like I said, you're not out there trying to piss off LulzSec or Anonymous or, you know, some group with the ability to actually cause you to have a bad day. Um, with individualized port forwarding, it's important to know exactly what port your application uses and just as importantly what um, your internal IP address is. Uh, I'll flash a diagram up on the screen here that basically illustrates what is going wrong if you point traffic to the wrong computer. Obviously your computer will not be there to receive it, but um, the easiest way to find out what your uh, internal IP address is, is to use uh, command prompt. Uh, I'm just going to assume that 90% of you out there run uh, Windows. If you're not running Windows, if you're running Linux or Mac OS X, you probably have your own methods and you probably don't really need this tutorial simply because those operating systems are structured so differently you either A, already know what you're doing, or B, you probably don't really want to pursue this road much further anyway, as horrible as that sounds. Um, but the point at hand, sorry, uh, I'm just remembering I need to make the The point at hand is that if you can understand the all too important difference between external IP, internal IP, and uh, port forwarding versus DMZ, you shouldn't have any problems when it comes to hosting uh, online gameplay or any sort of online application for that fact. Just remember your internal IP will not work from outside the network. So what that means is that if you have somebody who is trying to play from, I don't know, their house across town, 
they are not going to be behind your uh, router, and that means that they cannot use your 192.168.whatever have you address. They're going to need your uh, public IP address, your external IP address. Um, so get your internal by pulling up command prompt and running an IP config. Um, you'll see a little cheat sheet on your screen uh, just outlining what to look for uh, in regards to your IPv4 address. Uh, for your external, pretty much any website, I greatly suggest uh, whatsmyip.us. I don't know why, it's just a personal preference. But uh, that would be that'd be where I would start if I were you. Get those two addresses, know them, know what they do, and uh, you should have no problem going ahead getting your ports forwarded once you've looked up what your ports are. In some applications, such as Minecraft for your servers, you can set the port. Um, or if you're going to open a game to LAN, when you uh, start the game, it'll tell you, see, uh, 49997 is the port present. And if I was in a DMZ on this computer, anyone could type in my external IP address followed by that port and join this LAN game even though they're not in my LAN, my local area network. Um, however, with me not being on DMZ, um, they would have to wait for me to go into my port forwarding and manually forward those ports to my local IP address, my internal IP address. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm sorry it wasn't very entertaining. Hopefully it was very informative. And, uh, you know, uh, just for more information, any way I can help someone enjoy gaming a little more, I'm pleased to do so. Come join us over at boxofit.com. We have forums. The link is in the top right of the main page. We look forward to having you.